The problem with those ones is that if you don't improve them, if you don't have them in place, all the other indices will suffer. How can anyone go to school? Look, I was in Katina. There were schools that were seasonal, as in when the, when the rainy season comes, a flash flood would simply cut off the school. And so, no school for a couple of days. Because no drift, no bridge, no culvert, nothing. So, how would you rate the educational development in that place? It's tied to the roads and drainage system. That is the unfortunate aspect of Nigeria. We should be paying greater attention to our infrastructure. It is also clear that most often good roads that have started going bad over the time have not been given the needed attention. If a road reaches the end of its design life and starts to go bad, the state or federal government works department is supposed to commission a study and design for the upgrading of such roads. However, this does not occur as quickly as required in reality. I think you don't need to be an engineer talking lots of NSC president to say that you are not satisfied. When you, when you talk of infrastructure, you are talking of uh, many things. Roads, electricity supply, you know, telecommunication network, you know, and uh, stuff like that. And uh, we all know the conditions of uh, our Nigerian roads. Number one, they are not adequate. Number two, even the, the I mean, the state at which they are is really, you know, in most cases, you know, they are in a deplorable situation. So nobody can be happy because uh, if you are privileged to be going by road, you know, like myself, who don't normally go by air, but <laughs> maybe you, <laughs> you always fly, that is why you don't know the... <laughs> but for, the, for those of us who, who, who go through almost all the Nigerian roads, you know, it is really a, a, a very serious uh, issue. And that is why, as NSC, we are even, you know, promoting some policies, you know, that will affect, you know, the the whole concept of, uh, you know, road maintenance in the country, road development and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and maintenance. So we are working with the Federal Ministry of Works, you know, to, to bring out some, you know, some policies that will, you know, address those issues. And power supply, everybody knows, even though there is relative improvement in, in recent times, which everybody has to admit, but we are still far away from you know what we should uh, from from where we should be so the effort being put by the government you know to put up these new power stations i mean has to continue like that i mean you can say because you have some you know uh, 4000 megawatts you know about to to take up then you 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 clap for yourself and and, and judge yourself to have succeed, succeeded no we are far away from, you know, from the destination we, we desire to be. So that effort has to, you know, continue, you know, you know without any gap. So there has to be, you know, uh, government effort in putting up more power stations, expanding the transmission networks, you know, making uh, good the distribution networks. Because as at now, there are so many... So many inadequacies. The transmission network is inadequate. There are so many places. Even if you, you know, finish the construction of the uh, power station, you cannot evacuate the power supply to the, you know, load centers. So things like that have to continue with vigor because time is moving, and uh, I can't see ourselves, uh, you know, always lagging, always lagging. I think uh, we have lagged enough. So we should really be in phase with time now. Yeah.
Sesikam Nigeria Limited is a wholly indigenous firm, which has been in operation for more than seven years now. The company is specialized on exploration and construction engineering projects. Over the years, Sesikam Nigeria Limited has handled various projects for both private and public sector, dealing mostly in the northern part of Nigeria. The firm's range of services spans also in major industrial borehole drilling and soil testing. Inception, Sescam Nigeria Limited has built a strong reputation for providing and delivering reliable and on-time projects to its clients, which is the brand's topmost priority, client satisfaction. In their quest of delivering excellent results, the Sasekan brand has been faced with some challenges of funds in order to meet up with some state-of-the-art equipment. However, despite the face-up, the company's goes an extra mile to ensure that the integrity of the firm is protected.
Well, 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 this is where time will permit us. I want to say a big thank you so very much to all of you and those of you who have called in and those of you who have written. And I want to also express my deep appreciation to all of you who have personally called me and some of you have actually sent mails concerning your concern as it affects the voice pop we did concerning the state of our roads and those of you also who also criticize us and also criticize government. Well, I want to say thank you so very much. What's the sense of government? We elect people to get to a position of authority to serve us, the people. Well, the tomorrow is another day. I want to thank you, and on behalf of the production crew, tomorrow they say it's another day. If you can conceive it in your heart, definitely you can achieve it, and success will be on your way. Please, let us pray for our leaders. It is very, very important. Whatever country you are watching, pray for your leaders. It's very, very key. I will see you again same time next week, God's willing. Stay blessed.